testing web page documents containing Flash text field links differs from testing the same text field links inside the Flash development environment. Also, when using local web page documents containing Flash movies, you may encounter Flash security screens and web browser security screens. This movie is running inside the security sandbox of the Flash development environment using Control Test Movie from the menu. It is not subject to all the security issues of running in a web page document. The Flash development environment also cannot duplicate all the text field link behaviors possible in a web browser document. So let's get started and see how we're going to change and deal with these issues. So first we'll open up a starting document and we'll save this in a second file and I'll call it practice. So let's review what we have before we get started. First of all, we have a layer uh, that contains one text field, and I'll select that text field, and has some property sets such as the family for the font is impact, the size of 30, but most importantly has a link to an external web page. The second layer contains a text field, and inside the text field some of the text is set up for a link, so I'm going to click into edit mode and highlight this text and we can see there's a link for this um, part of the text field and also down here the last paragraph contains a link as well look at the publish settings and under the format tab flash has a choice to publish an html web browser document to test inside of a web browser so we'll leave that choice selected and we'll cancel this dialog and flash also has a shortcut to actually load that HTML document into a web browser for us right from the Flash development environment. And we'll select that. So this is the HTML document running inside of our default web browser. And what I'll do is I'll click the first link, which is part of our Flash movie. And the first thing we see is a Flash Player security dialog box. And Flash provides this warning Whenever you're using a local Flash movie that attempts to link to an internet location, which is what we are trying to do. So to continue testing this inside the web browser, we need to choose the settings button. And that will open up a web page from Adobe. And on this web page, this is a Flash movie or a web page that updates some settings on your local drive and what we're going to do is choose edit locations and then add location and you see the link down here in the bottom of the dialog window and we'll select that and copy it that's our local flash movie and we'll paste that in up here under trust this location and choose confirm and it will remain in this listing for the next time we want to test that particular file folder flash movie combination. So we can close this, we won't need this any longer, and we'll close the flash movie. And we'll start again in the flash ID, we'll do flash publish preview and relaunch the HTML document. And we'll click on the first link. And we no longer get the warning message for the flash player security. Next, what we'll do is we'll go back and grab the URL, and we'll just hit the back button on the browser, and up on the URL area, we'll copy that URL, and then we'll come down here to the Internet Explorer and create a new tab, and we'll paste that URL in down here, and we'll use this, press Enter, and Internet Explorer has its own security for ActiveX controls running content from the local drive, and the Flash Player in Internet Explorer is an ActiveX control, so we'll click this warning. And we'll say Allow Blocked Content. And then we're going to confirm this. And these are part of settings within your Internet Explorer that you can adjust to avoid these messages. And right now we'll choose Yes. And now we have the Flash web page document running with the Flash movie in it. And we'll click on the first link. And we see that works very nicely as well. So we can close this tab and we'll close the Firefox tab. Rather than have the Flash Movies web page replaced by the link, we can open up the link in a new tab or a new window depending on what the user has set for their browser. So let's go over here and select this text for the heading 
and in the options area we have a choice called target and these are the same target choices that you have using HTML's link tag and uh, the choices are blank for opening it up in a new window or a new tab depending on the user's settings so we'll select that and we'll also do this for the other two links so we'll click into the second text field to edit mode and we'll highlight the text that's linked and make sure you highlight it all because it will only apply to the parts you highlighted and we'll also choose blank and we'll do that for the th last one and we'll choose blank get the selection tool back in so we can test this again and we'll go to file publish preview default for the shortcut and the web document opens up inside the web browser with the flash movie running and I'll just use the first link here and what we see is a new tab is opened and I'll go back to the original flash movie and click one of the other links let's do the Louisiana Tech University since it's different and it opens up a different tab as well and this is a setting that this web browser has been elected to open up uh, new documents inside of different tabs so let's try another web browser and so we'll go back to the flash movie tab here and copy the URL and we'll go down to the Internet Explorer and we'll go to a new tab and we'll paste in the URL and we'll launch that and we have to deal with the ActiveX settings because they are not changed for the options and we'll go through that and now here's our flash movie running and I'll click on the first link and you can see this web browser is set to open up new document windows let's try another link, we'll try the Louisiana Tech University link and we get yet another web browser document so we'll close these two extra windows Using the link target property blank is a good way to link to external websites without replacing the web page that contains your Flash movie. Flash movies intended for the internet need testing in multiple web browsers using an HTML document outside the Flash development environment.